Everyone, Massive Media welcomes you back to the most trending news this week, and it has as the news analysis for the week. There is no doubt that Nigerians are aware of the insecurity in the country, whereby the the Hadis, the Boko Harams, the Eswabs, the Bandis, the his men, they are killing Nigerians from north to south. They are causing menace. They are kidnapping people for money and they are causing a lot of harm to all Nigerians. But most countries have not deemed it very necessary to come to the aid because the government in power has not shown interest in combating the menace of the jihadis, Flani Hitsmen, the Flani Bandis, and all the rest of them. Christians have been killed, churches burnt, homes burnt, people sent to ID camps. Their lands have been taken, and little is being made to ensure that the bandits are driven away that have taken the lands of the indigenous people to return the people back to their homes. And they are also envisaging that these displaced indigenous people will vote for the coming elections. Recently, on the security basis, the interest of most countries, especially Great Britain, is not on the entire safety of the indigenous people, but to protect their own interest, ensure that the flow of oil and flow of resources that are needed by them continues. On 31st January to 2nd February 2022, Nigerian National Security Advisor and British National Security Advisor had meeting purely to talk about the government corporations on the security of Nigeria and the things, the crimes, perhaps Nigerians' causes that affects the United Nation, uh, the United Kingdom. This included the the drug trafficking, the crimes, organized crimes, maritime insecurity, serious and organized crimes, trafficking across the border and the border security, especially along the coastal line where their ships move oil from African countries, coastal region to United Kingdom. But however, However, the biggest concern of Great Britain this time is the problem of changing the pattern of leadership. The pattern of leadership is anticipated to be changed from President Buhari to another person, irrespective of the party, but there is a change or there may be a change of leadership as anticipated. That is where the issue comes from. As politicians prepare, according to the Director of Foreign and Commonwealth Development Office, who was in Nigeria, stated, as politicians prepare for campaigns across the country, the Foreign and the Commonwealth Development Office has said that security during the election season is a top concern for the British government. The Development Office Director, Chris Bycroft, stated this at an expert meeting on conducting Nigerians' 2023 general election in a volatile security environment organized in collaboration with the Center for Democracy and Development in Abuja. According to him, Stakeholders must strive not only to guarantee the 
security of voters and the electoral processes, but also to effectively or actively promote peace. The question again is how do they promote peace? However, he emphasized on the unity and the peaceful coexistence be between Nigerian diverse religious, ethnic, and cultural communities is under huge strain. Serious escalation of inter-communal conflict are an escalating risk across all six across all six geopolitical regions of Nigeria. This means that the United Kingdom has never taken into consideration the activities of jihadists, the Fulani Hizmen, the Fulani bandits, and those who are kidnapping and demanding ransoms, killing women, children, and taking over the lands. They, the United Kingdom, want other nationalities to coexist with Eswap, Boko Haram, bandits, Fulani his men, and the Makba itself, who are the sponsors of most of these groups that are exterminating the ingenious, indigenous people and land grabbing while the indigenous people are displaced and placed in IDP camps. Indeed, one would say that the UK government has no interest of the people where their resources where their interest and where they paid for over 350 years to get the resources they used to keep United Kingdom moving. They want the indigenous people to live with these problems. They have never sent their soldiers to help Nigerians or Nigerian military to secure and drive away the Boko Harams, the Eswabs, maintain the peace they needed in Nigeria. Rather, one would remember that in 2021, when they rehabilitated Boko Harams, we are to be sent to United Kingdom for studies. The Prime Minister then, or now, Boris Johnson refused them to enter into UK, he said they would not accept them to study in UK to avoid them causing another problem in United Kingdom. But they want them to live in Nigeria and live with the communities without assessing the level to which Nigerian government has helped the people to push out those bandits, those jihadists to ensure that the people return to their homes. But they need them to stay peacefully and coexist with the Boko Harams. How would they do that? British government has to explain to Nigerians. In his remarks, the chairman of Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Mahmoud, said that the nation is entering critical stages ahead of 2023 general elections and that all hands must be on deck to ensure the success of the elections. My people, this is a very good advice from the, the chairman who said that all hands must be on deck. But I think the Nigerians will tell the chairman that it is their own hands that will be on deck, not Nigerian hands, because they are the people constituting users during election period. They change hands, they manipulate figures, they do all sorts of things to please whichever political party or candidate they want to assist. This is where the hands of Nigerians will not be on deck, but the hands of those who are in INEC to be on deck to ensure that 
whatever they are doing, they do it creditably well without favor. That is the advice, the hands of citizens that will be on deck for the INEC. But on the other hand, the INEC and the East agents must be on deck to ensure the total security on police stations. The security should be on police stations. That is where the INEX hand and the INEX neck, the INEX everything, and their eyes will be on deck inside and outside the police stations. But controversially, the INEC chairman also stated that ahead of 2023 general election, which they in doubt if it will hold, that all hands must be on deck. This is another controversy. He stated that they doubt if the 2023 general election will hold. This means that already they have concluded it will not hold based on the insecurity of the nation. This is where we will end today's news and we hope you have enjoyed it and you will look out to see how our next hand and the adult will play out as the months come by. Bye bye. For those who have not subscribed, we ask you to subscribe and give us a thumb up and share the news and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you all. Bye.